April 3, 2024. Wednesday in the octave of Easter. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That same day, two of them were going to Amaz, a village seven miles from Jerusalem, and they talked about what had happened. While they were talking and wondering, Jesus came up and walked with them, but their eyes were held and they did not recognize him. He asked, What is this you are talking about? The two stood still, looking sad. Then one named Cleophas answered, Why, it seems you are the only traveler in Jerusalem who doesn't know what has happened there these past few days. And he asked, What is it? They replied, It is about Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet, you know, mighty in word and deed before God and the people. But our chief priests and our rulers sentenced him to death. They handed him over to be crucified. We had hoped that he would redeem Israel. It is now the third day since all this took place. It is true that some women of our group have disturbed us. When they went to the tomb at dawn, they did not find his body, they came and tell us that they had seen a vision of angels who told them that Jesus was alive. Some friends of our group went to the tomb and found everything just as the women had said. But they did not see him. He said to them, How dull you are! How slow of understanding! You fail to believe the message of the prophets. Is it not written that the Christ should suffer all these and then enter his glory? Then starting with Moses and going through the prophets, he explained to them everything in the scripture concerning himself. As they drew near the village they were heading for, Jesus made as if to go farther. But they prevailed upon him, stay with us, for night comes quickly. The day is now almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When they were at table, he took the bread, said a blessing, broke it and gave each a piece. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished out of their sight. And they said to each other, Were not our hearts filled with ardent yearning when he was talking to us on the road and explaining the scriptures? They immediately set out and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven, and their companions gathered together. They were greeted by these words, Yes, it is true, the Lord is risen. He has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the road and how Jesus made himself known when he broke bread with them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. Be bold in your prayers. Ask and you shall receive. Let us pray. Silver and gold I do not have, but in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for the person reading this. I pray for blessings and miracles much more than what she, he, desires. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. 